Right, just quickly before we get into this video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for 100 subs. I know it seems like a pretty small number considering how many like big channels are out there, but it feels like a huge number for me. It feels like a proper milestone. I feel like I've been working quite hard for it, and uh, even though, yeah, it's a small number, it still feels amazing to hit it. So I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for subscribing, and uh, see if we can reach 200. Anyway, back to the video. Hello everyone, Strictly Fishing here, and uh, I'm going to do the outro now, even though it's night time, it's back outside, because I have uh, ended up forgetting to do one, don't know how, but anyway, in this video, I went down to East Knee Pier, and I'm just going to say, it's a pretty good day, um, yeah, East Knee Pier in uh, Portsmouth, it's my first time fishing there, never really fished on in Portsmouth much, um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to start going to uh, Portsmouth quite a bit more, considering what happened in this video but yeah this is um this video this intro is filmed on the saturday and i went uh fishing on the thursday last week so big jump but i've not really had time to edit i've been quite busy um as it's been uh the holidays but yeah i'm just gonna stop talking and get right into the video right here we are at east Deep pier first time fishing here as i said so um yeah, I'll get set up. I'll get the rigs on and baited up. I got some ragworm today, that's all. I would have got some other bits of bait, but I didn't actually go to the bait shop, so I couldn't really see what they did. Uh, what they had, sorry. Yeah, but I'm gonna get set up and uh, cast it out. Right, so here we are. Got a running edger here with a four ounce grip of lead and uh, just some rag on the end of that. I'm gonna get that casted out. Right, so I'm all set up now. They're all baited up with uh, rag. And I'm uh, just gonna wait and see if we get a bite. They're all out quite far, so um, yeah, that's, it's good. It's not too windy, it's not too cold. But yeah, we're fishing. There we go. A few bites there. Do you wanna hold this? Do you want? Congro. Right, there we go, there's a nice conger. A little one though. There we are. Not a bad conger that. I always have to pick them up and just throw them back in. There we are. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've just reeled this in and I've just got something. Oh, so, oh it's a bass. bass. Tiny little one. Bro, it just was not fighting. There we are. I'm just trying to get a picture. I've got one. Right, let's get him back. Yeah, he's gone. Oh my days. It's a big bass, isn't it? It's a huge bass. Look at that. That's a lovely bar of silver. Again. There we are, hooks out. That. Right, I don't think uh, he's in, so he's going back. There he goes. Great catch. Right, so not too much action now. I've got those uh, conga and those two bass literally in the space of like 10 minutes. It's insane. And we had only been here for like 20, maybe 30 at max. But yeah, so it's been another, what, half an hour now? And not too much, except from another bite about like five minutes ago. 
but yeah all the rods are back out i've just recasted uh that one over there and that was the one that got bite i might need that for a tiny bit longer um i'll probably check this one in a sec in fact i might check this one now i've had to tie most of the rods down because the uh the current was making lifting the rod up like that it's so strong most of the bait's been all chewed up Right, the wind's died down, but look how fast the tide is coming out. It's incredibly fast. That current is just ripping. See how fast it's going out. Look, it's going out even faster now. It's like a river. Oh, look at that. Right, so the current is just so strong that it's just pulling our rods out and it's like making them go so tight and there's so much seaweed around. The current's probably so fast that the fish can't like get a chance to see my bait or anything. So we're gonna try find a bit more of a calmer spot um, as we have quite a decent amount of bait left. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. Might be on a beach somewhere, might be on another pier, most likely on a beach. But yeah, second you come down here, it's like nice and calm. But the second you get up the end of the pier, it's like incredibly uh, fast. Look at them bubbles down there. The Eastern EP is a really good pier. I've caught some uh, pretty decent stuff already today. So I'm definitely going to come back here. Right, here we are on the beach just behind the coffee cup cafe over there. And uh, I'm using this uh, mess of a rod stand. This thing is like the worst thing in the world. It's so light, uh, but we're fishing. Yeah, I don't care as long as we're fishing. But yeah, I have no clue what you could get around here. Possibly rays, but it's not really night. Um, I don't know. But yeah, we're just gonna give this like maybe an hour or two until I run out of bait, but yeah. This is probably the cheapest Rosan you could get. Like, look at the legs, they're just full of bending. I mean, I, I don't really beach fish much, so I don't really get one. I normally fish on piers, but I might actually get one. It's so light that it just tips over whenever you take one rod off. Look at the size of this. Monstrous. Like a snake. Right, I've rebaited up, recasted out. Uh, I've moved a little bit closer to the water. To the water as the uh, the tide's going down. But yeah, they're both out nice and far. I don't know if we'll get anything down there. I've never tried down here, but um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. There we go. I'm getting a few, I'm actually getting a few bites now. Tiny, tiny little taps though. But yeah, I'll leave that for about five minutes and check back. I'm gonna check this now. Doesn't feel very heavy at all. Oh, I do have something. I do have something. Tiny little white in. There we go, tiny little white in. There we go. Tiny little thing. Here we are, getting a few decent taps here.
Yeah. Something little. There's a little bass. Tiny little bass. Look at that. Lovely. Yeah, I know. Here we are, it's getting released. He's gone. I see him right there. Amazing. Cool. Right, this will be one of the last casts because I am pretty much completely out of bait. I've got like three tiny little ragworm left. Right, this will be the last cast because I have like two tiny little ragworm left. I'll just chuck them both on. Yeah, that's good. Good cast. I think they're both getting tiny little taps, tiny little bites. There's that one. And then the white one was getting a few. I'm going to leave that for a tiny bit longer. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right, me and my dad are both going to check these. No. Nah, we'll just reel it in anyway. Nah, definitely not. I don't think so. So uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching that video. If you enjoyed that video, leave a like. Let me know what you want me to do, where you want me to go, where you want me to fish in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all later. Peace.